Good morning. Another beautiful sunny day today. I don't know if the you can see the sunshine shining in the window, but it's going to be beautiful, 85, maybe a shower. So we'll see. But anyway, today is going to be just a little bit of cleaning up and arranging things and finding some orga organizational places for things I have. I think I'm going to get started in organizing my dining room. I have Christmas dishes that I want to sell. I think I'm going to try and sell my two recliners. They're so big. I mean, they're not really big recliners, but they're big for my room. And then I think I'm just going to get one smaller one. I think that'll work better. And I need a recliner with legs. The one that I have now is a swivel. And I have a Roomba, which I never use, because it always gets stuck under the recliner chairs. So it's more of a pain in the butt than anything else, but I'd like to start using it again. I've had it for years, and I really haven't gotten my money's worth out of it. So since this is the year of reasonable, I'm trying to reasonably use the things that I have that I thought would make my life easier that really haven't. So do, you any, do any of you guys have a Roomba, and what do you think about it? Do you use it every day? Or do you find it's more trouble than it's worth? I don't know. I'd really like to know. But anyway, um, I'm still going to be cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and pantry meals. So <clears throat> I have a leftover burger that I want to do something with. So I really, really want to make a big effort to <clears throat> get some things out of my refrigerator. I don't have things that are going bad. My lettuce, well, I ate some of it, but some of it I had to give to my worms. So I don't want that to happen, but it happens occasionally. You know, you just get too much food, and that's the problem. You get too much food, and then you don't cook it. So anyway, a lesson learned, and I'll do better. <clears throat> so... I really, really want to get start getting some cleaning routines back, back in my life. At one point, I had one that worked real well, and I have to find that. I think I stuck it in a notebook somewhere, and I have to find that because it was easy and simple, and the house was relatively clean. So I want to get back to that, and... Um, Pretty much now that my kitchen has almost everything done, except putting things in my cubbies and putting uh, food in my mason jars and decoupaging those, um, I want to get more into some cleaning routines and uh, keeping things uh, more in order because that's gotten a little bit out of control over the past few years. So anyway, um, I'll be back for breakfast in a little bit. I'm going to go enjoy my cup of coffee, start the day off with my slow living, and we'll see what the day brings. All right. All right, well, I decided I'm just making one meal today. And I have from my garden this zucchini and a pepper and one tomato. But I got a few more tomatoes, not much. The garden isn't producing um, a whole lot of tomatoes yet. I, there's a lot on the vine, but they're not ripe yet. So I got this little handful of tomatoes, black cherry and regular, and a little tiny handful of beans. So these I'm not going to eat yet. I'm going to save those. But I have a store-bought tomato here that needs to be eaten. So I'm going to make my dinner. And I'm going to eat these few beans. I just have a little bit of butter in the pan here. 
and I'm just going to saute up some veggies and then I'm going to make some instant mashed potatoes and I'm going to have potatoes and veggies so I haven't bought much in the way of produce I used up my lettuce and I will buy more lettuce but um, I'm not going to the store right now. Next time I go out, I'll, I'll pick up some lettuce. But um, I don't want to buy much in the way of produce because if my garden starts producing, I've got greens that I need to eat. So those I will eat up first. Then if I don't get much yield, then I'll go buy some veggies. So this is the only zucchini so far that I've gotten, and I don't see a whole lot of female flowers on there. And this one I actually hand-pollinated. So I'm going to enjoy it. But I don't want to stack up on a lot of produce from the store right now, because I have quite a bit of greens out there. And as the tomatoes ripen, I'll eat those. So, all right, I'm going to cut all this up and just saute it in some butter. So I'll be back when that's cooked. Okay, I'm going to season this a little bit. I haven't added the tomatoes yet. I'm just going to use some of this vegan chickenless seasoning from Trader Joe's it has a good flavor. It's pretty salty, but zucchini is pretty bland, so I'm going to put enough on there. And then I have this salt-free garlic and herb seasoning that I'm also going to put on there. Okay, and that's McCormick. I think I got that at Gordon Food Service. I can't remember. I've had it for a long time. Alright, so I'm going to add my tomato. This isn't done cooking yet, but I don't want the uh, squash to be too mushy. So one of these tomatoes is from the garden. The other one was a store-bought. They both need to be eaten, so so that's going to be a really delicious veggie dish. And most of it is from the garden, except for the one tomato. Alright, I'm going to let that cook up a little bit, and then I'm probably going to add a little bit of sugar because a lot of times tomatoes are pretty tart, but I'll let it cook for a while. All right, I'll be back. All right, I was looking in my freezer and I brought this back from my mom's house where I have another freezer, and they're steak strips from Morningstar Farms. I've had these before. I'm going to add a few of those for some protein. And I like to try these different um, vegan meats. So I was going through a phase where I actually bought quite a few of them. And now I'm glad I did because I can um, cook them up. So I'm going to stick some of those in there. So I can use those up. I'm not going to use them all. But I'm going to let those cook in the juice. I don't want too many. Okay, that looks good. So, um, 
And you can eat this with rice or pasta or whatever your choice is. But I'm going to have it with these sour cream and chive potatoes. So I'm going to use these with some, uh, I have coconut milk open that I need to use up as well. Now the directions on here say to use two cups of water. I never do two cups of water. I usually do one cup of water and one cup of some sort of milk. Um, sometimes I just use milk and then I put butter in on them too just to spruce them up a little bit. So I'm going to have that with this. I think that'll be tasty. All right, I'll be back when this is done cooking. Okay, that's still cooking. I heated up a cup of, uh, I had coconut milk and a cup of water and uh, about a tablespoon of butter. And now I'm just going to add all the potatoes. So those are from the pantry, and I actually bought those on um, Markdown at Big Lots. And they were cheaper there than at Dollar Tree. And I like these Idahoan potatoes. I think they're really good. And especially if you're a single person and you don't feel like making homemade mashed potatoes, but like I said, I doctor them up. So I think that'll be very tasty. Sometimes I add a little bit of extra seasonings to them, like some garlic and herb, salt, or pepper. In fact, I think I am going to add some pepper to this. And then I'll taste it for salt. And if you like them creamier, you can always add a little more milk. So let me give these a taste. Very good. They don't need anything else. All right, this should be done too. <clears throat> you know, with these silicone lids, they really seal tight, so you have to be very careful when you open these because that steam will burn you. All right. So there's a lot of natural gravy here from the tomatoes, and I'm just going to eat that right over the potatoes. And this is done too. All right, I'm going to plate this up, and then I'll be back. All right, so here it is, my meal for the day, day 228. Um, my garden veggies, my freezer, uh, meat, Morningstar Farms, from my pantry, from my freezer, and from my garden. All right, let me give this a taste. I put a little green onion on top, and that's from my produce over there. So I added a little of the tomato gravy to the potatoes. All right, let's give it a taste. I'll get a little piece of nut steak, too. This is pretty good, the Morning Star Farm. I've had it before, and it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Very tasty. This chicken seasoning, chickenless seasoning, and the garlic and herb make a very nice combination. All right, 
I'm going to eat my dinner. And I'll well, it's later. the end of another day, um, and I had grand plans for today, but those grand plans kind of went by the wayside. Um, my lovely daughter and her lovely daughter, so my granddaughter, they came over instead. And that was way better than what I had planned to begin with. So, didn't get anything done today other than I did cook a meal. And I only had one meal today, but that uh, zucchini with the mashed potatoes was really, really good. So, tomorrow's another day, and... Uh, I'll have the same thing on my agenda tomorrow. Do a little bit more cleaning up, a little bit more cooking, and a little bit more organizing. So I did list my Christmas dishes on uh, Amazon Marketplace today. And I really would like to get the Christmas dishes sold and out of the house because I don't use them anymore. And then I decided I'm going to sell my two recliners because they're just too big for the room uh, since I got the little sofa. Um, I'm, I'm trying to keep it so it's a little bit more open in, in the room. So I'll probably just get a smaller recliner and uh, go from there. So... Um, I did get some laundry done. That's good. And since I'm doing my daughter's laundry, I'm pretty much doing laundry for, let's see, six people now? Yeah, I, seven, including myself. <laughs> so that's quite an increase. But I don't mind. You know, I like helping out my family. So this evening I'm going to do more of nothing and uh, just chill a little bit because I'm getting back into the slow living mode. And not that I was ever completely out of it, but I found myself just kind of uh, heading in a direction that I didn't like. The hurry up direction. And there's really no hurry, so... Um, so I'm working on that, and yeah, pretty much business as usual. Um, I have a lot of leftover food now. I have another meal uh, from the zucchini and the potatoes, and I still have a, a Beyond Burger, and then I made some cucumber and tomato salad yesterday that I didn't eat today but I can eat tomorrow so I won't really have to do too much cooking and uh, trying to use up what's still trying to use up what's in my freezer but it's it's getting there it, it's getting there but boy I have saved a lot of money on food and what I'm doing is fixing up my house with the money that I've saved from not buying food. So that's been working out really well and it's not like I'm depriving myself of food. I eat very healthy food. But now that uh, my garden is slowly starting to, to uh, produce some you know some veggies and things and things are ripening um, That'll be free food, too, so I won't have to buy produce as often, and that makes me really happy, too. But the key to all that is cooking around what you have in your refrigerator. I find that I spend way more on food when I have a preconceived um, list of recipes that I want to make. Um, this way, I use up more of my food if I cook around what I already have and I can cook around what I find on Markdown rather than uh, you know going on Pinterest or whatever and, and looking at recipes and then going out and buying all the ingredients. I never have uh, cooked that way. Um, I, I keep some pretty basic things always on hand and then I just make my meals around that. But this past 
almost year now, 228 days, I've really gotten into that mode where I cook around what I already have. I have very little food waste. And um, that's a good thing, you know, you save a lot of money on food that way. And then also, you know, doing the discount shopping and buying things that I usually use when they're cheaper and having a stockpile of those things, that really saves money too. So uh, I've been saving money doing that. And then even the furniture that I've gotten, um, I've gotten reduced um, way cheaper than if I went out and you know, paid full price, and I'm kind of decorating around what I find rather than having a preconceived notion in my head of what I want. In other words, I'm not going on Pinterest and finding a living room and then going out and trying to buy furniture that looks like the, the picture. Um, I'm more decorating around a feeling that I want to have in that room. And that's been working out great. You know, I've really been happy with the results so far. Um, I have a whole bunch of um, sofa slip covers that I have to return to Amazon. And so I'm going to do that either tomorrow or Monday. And um, because I bought several because I didn't know which ones I would like or not like. And I didn't want to wait two or three weeks to get it all put together. So I'm just going to return the ones that I, you know, really don't fit the idea that I had for the room. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. Kind of been decorating around a feeling and a general idea of what I want. And... Um, I think that's been working out great, and I'm happy with that, and, um, you know, the family seems to think it looks good. So, all right, that's all I have for you today. Not much uh, activity going on. So, uh, tomorrow, we'll see what tomorrow brings. All right, my friends, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.